wanted to create a really challenging spelling task. I find that um, teaching spelling can be quite frustrating. Even after spelling uh, spending time uh, focusing on a spelling pattern, I quite often get frustrated to find the same mistakes over and over again in my students' writing. So I'm always on the lookout for analytical tasks that are really going to get my students to think hard about their spelling. Computers on their desks, so who else needs a computer? I think in general, um, I think it's really important for children to feel that the work they're doing at school is purposeful. So I decided that we would use technology to create a product to help users practice a particular spelling pattern. Yes. So can you think of a question that would have the word pony in it? City. Well, in one of my previous classes, um, a high achieving Year 7 student had quite often included a scratch spelling quiz with her spelling contract and I love that concept because I thought that um, for their quiz to function properly, the students would need to A, uh, understand the spelling rule really well and B, apply it consistently. But the question was, would a 4-5 class be up to the challenge of creating uh, an interactive quiz on Scratch? Well, most of the kids had basic prior experience with Scratch, um, but I was feeling a little bit nervous about the project because I wasn't sure that they would be up to the challenge. As we started, I noticed that they were really highly motivated by the task and also they were really good at helping one another with the different problem solving situations that emerged. And that was great reassurance for me because at that point I thought, I think we're on the right track and it's going to be successful. Look, there were quite a few challenges with the task. Um, to start with, for the children to actually design questions that would make sense for the end user, that was a really tricky challenge. And then for them to think through how to, um, how to welcome that answer from the user in such a way that when they wrote their little program, there was going to be very little scope to miss a correct answer. Now, these two challenges uh, were really quite tricky to work through. And I guess they required a lot of tinkering on their part, but they worked through that really well and, and really collaboratively again. Uh, another challenge they had at the end was about moving beyond giving shallow feedback to one another uh, when the time came to give one another some final advice. I learned many new skills from the students. Um, I was definitely not the expert in the room. One of my students, Megan, taught me the concept of um, broadcasting and receiving, which is a concept I had heard about, but I had never really fully understood in Scratch. So I guess that really showed me that we were all learners in this together. Well, once the quizzes were finished, we uploaded them to the students' blogs. And once they were, they were published, uh, we asked each student to go and visit three peers and leave them some structured feedback. After that, the students went about reading their feedback and improving their products, their final product. I think the most important bit of learning I did during this project was to not underestimate my students. At the start, I was really quite concerned about whether we were going to be successful or not, and they really proved me wrong. I think I saw how motivated they were, and I saw um, how their collaborative skills really increased. In the end, they really understood the importance of giving constructive feedback. And all of these realisations, I guess, are encouraging me to, to continue providing them with challenging tasks and authentic tasks. Well, through this project, I saw that my students were empowered and that the learning was relevant and meaningful to them. So I witnessed uh, their developing more resilience, determination and collaboration. And all of this is helping me think that I can become a better learning designer. It was really daunting at the start because it was a brand new curriculum and it was also a brand new year level for me. So I really wasn't sure that the kids would be able to put it together. But I guess what I've come to realise is that you mustn't be scared of trying. You don't need to be an expert at anything. The kids don't need to be experts at anything. You just need a clear goal, a purpose and to work on this together.